All right, today we're going to make a pyramid catapult. For this activity, you're going to need five skewers. Um, we've got three straws and ten craft sticks and one rubber band. Now, the craft sticks um, that we got from the market department are too big to go in the straws. So you are either going to have to get some of the skinny ones from Walmart or you're going to have to um, try to cut the craft sticks you have in half and insert them that way. doesn't matter to me which way you, you go. Okay. Um, and then at the end of the craft, you will need a, another cup. Okay, but that's at the end. Um, so, let's get started. We need to cut our straws into quarters. The easiest way to do that is to basically cut in half and cut into half and cut into half again. Okay, so that I got four from that one. Here's my second one. And feel free to pause right now to do these. Um, and I'm trying to prevent them from jumping all over the place. That's kind of hard to do, but give it a shot. Okay, and then you just need half of the third one. So I'm going to put half off to the side and just cut one of the pieces in half again. Okay? Uh, go ahead and pause to do that. All right, so for the first part, you're going to take three of the, the craft sticks, and you're going to put them inside very carefully the straw until... Got about half of it in. And then you're going to end up bending it a little bit. You're going to put another one on this end very carefully. Put those in. Voila. And then you just have to put the two ends inside. Now for this one, I recommend um, bending your straw in advance. That will help bend it. Then you also know how much to put in. Um, here we go. So feel free to pause right now and do this step. All right, now at this point, you're going to want to take some tape and you're going to go and reinforce your triangle. So I'm just in the process of, of getting my tape ready. Sorry, this part's not super easy to record. Okay, and I'm just going to start here, and I am going to go around, all right, start here and go around again. All right, and um, then you can put the sides down too. I made my pieces a little bit too big, I think. But voila. So. And... 
And voila, I have my reinforced triangle. All right, go ahead and pause and tape yours on. All right, guys, at this point, I want you to pause, and you are going to do make these triangle two more times until you've used up all your craft sticks, okay? So pause now, make three of these triangles. All right, guys, now that you have your three triangles, you're going to arrange them into a trapezoid. So the middle one is going to have the look like a regular triangle and then these two are going to be I always think of them as facing down but um, that's the big picture that we want and you're gonna want to tape these two sides okay but you're gonna eventually have to turn the sides up so depending on um, how much tape you use you might want to go a little bit loosely on it just so you can move the pieces. So let's see how this works. I'm just cutting my tape right now. Sorry, that part's hard to record. Okay, so here I go. I got my tape. There, and I'm going to tape here, okay, and then we're going to bring these up, and I'm going to tape these two sides. Now, you probably need an extra pair of hands for this. Um, I'm going to do the best I can. I do not have a second pair of hands. But you might want to get help from mom or dad or brother or sister. Or babysitter, grandma, anyone who happens to be around. Okay, and then I'm going to tape. Wrap the tape around. Voila! Now I have my pyramid, and that's going to be the base of your triangle catapult. All right. Pause and do that step now. All right. Now you're going to take your remaining skewers, and you're going to need your craft stick. So. What you're going to do is you're going to tape the remaining skewers together um, and you want them side by side. So, might be easier to lay your tape down. Um, and it did say to tape in two places, but I have some really long piece of tape so I think I might just need the one. But you can add as much tape as you want. So I'm going to then add the skewers side by side, lining up the points, lining up the skewers so that they are making a really nice solid line. Okay, and then you're going to put your craft stick on top. Now, the minis are a little too many for this part, so I'm going to get one of my bigger ones. And place that on top. And that craft stick is mostly just for reinforcing. Okay, so now I have a bundle. Okay. And I think I really want to reinforce this really well, so I'm going to use my tape, and I'm going to tape it, continue taping, so it's like really doubly reinforced here. Doo -doo. 
All right. There's my bundle, my craft sticks. It is all set to go. All right, pause now and do that step. All right, now we're gonna take the pointed part and we're going to insert just the middle three skewers into the straw. If you can't quite get all three of them in here, then do the, the, the middle two, okay? And my piece is a little big here, so I think I'm just gonna trim. Yeah, I didn't get all the middle three, but I got the middle two. I think that will be good. And then we need to take that part on. There you go, that is taped on, okay? Pause and do that step now. All right, for this next part, um, you have the straw pointed downwards. And this is, the straw is going to allow for a flexible, um, the flexible arm, allow the cabal to move a little bit, okay? So um, again, this part's gonna be kind of tricky. So if you have a brother or sister at home, mom and dad, you might want them to hold your pieces, okay? So I am going to do the best I can. Um, so, but here's my, my straw, and I'm just adding tape to the straw piece here. Okay, and I'm gonna just flip it over and move up. So um, here is my tape, and I'm just going to kind of wrap it around. Again, brother, sister, mom, dad, babysitter, grandma, whoever is at home with you might need to hold the pieces for you. Okay, and then, voila, as we have our the top of our arm goes up. Okay, so stop right now, pause, and get to that point. All right, so for our next part, we're gonna bring our catapult up, and I'm gonna pause just to get the camera in the right spot, guys. All right, so we're going to take our rubber band, put it around our catapult, then we're going to take the arm, and it's gotta go through the frame. So it kinda goes, if you see, it goes on the outside, then through the middle, and then it needs to go around, oh boy, around very carefully around the end. Okay, that part is going to be really kind of hard, so ask mom and dad to help um, if you need to so that you don't break your rubber band. Okay, and then we have our catapult. And our last step is going to be to put our cup at the top of our catapult. Now I am putting mine kind of down for to make videotaping a little easier. Um, you, you might want to have someone hold it for you. Um, let's see what I can do here. Okay, that's kind of holding it. And then I'm going to get my tape, and I'm just going to tape my cup on. All right, so here I am going to tape my cup onto my arm. Again, ask someone to help you if you need someone to hold stuff. Okay. Now, here is your pyramid catapult. Again, a word of caution. Do not point this at any people, animals. And this toy honestly should probably be played with outside. So, um, again, you can take the cork that we had from our earlier videos, put it inside. This is going to be really hard. You pull this down, and away it goes, okay? 
have fun with us, but be safe. Don't point at any people or animals. Take it outside so you don't break something. And have fun, guys.